Hey guys, so it's Jamie from Legend Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about what I think is the best DLC gun in Battlefield Hardline. And this is going to be the MDC from the Robbery DLC. Now, this weapon is just overall a very good hard hitting assault rifle. It does 36 damage up close and then it'll drop down to about 24 damage at range. But the key with this weapon is it does get that three shot kill out until about 35 meters, which is a really good. Uh, damage model, especially considering that the fire rate is pretty fast at 750 rounds per minute. The only weapon that I can say competes with this really um, would be obviously the M16 and the M416, but those aren't DLC weapons. But the only DLC weapon would be the F2000, which is also really good. But I just like how this weapon feels. Um, as you can see right there, I bought the weapon license for the gun using a weapon license voucher. I only have like 350 or 400 kills with this weapon. Um, so it's going to be a long grind to be able to get that weapon license all the way at 1,250 kills. So I just decided to use the voucher that I had, which I think is the, by far the best thing you can get out of battle packs. Because it allows you to sort of bypass that unlock process that uh, takes a really long time for certain weapons. Now the main downside for this gun is going to be its high recoil. Um, despite having really good damage, it obviously does have pretty high recoil. And it could be considered somewhat of a hybrid between a battle rifle and an assault rifle because of its high recoil but when you're able to control that it does absolutely dump truck people and up close i mean since it's pretty easy to control up close it works exceptional exceptionally well in those situations now something else is the reload speeds a bit slow but those are only the really two major downsides for this weapon um the attachments i run is i either run uh, obviously a one-time sight, so like the Cobra, you see the hollow sight sometimes just because I was trying to mix up the gameplay a little bit. But uh, then I run extended mags, you could run the AP tracer rounds, I'd say. Uh, then compensator or long barrel or muzzle break uh, for the barrel. I ran compensator or long barrel in the two different situations. And then you could also run as the last attachment, angle grip, because it allows you to tap fire at long range with less recoil. Now I'm kind of going off on Hollywood Heights here, I was actually uploading a different video when this happens, so some of the hit registration is a bit laggy, but I just like playing the different maps on Battlefield Hardline. I feel that a lot of the time uh, when you go back to play now, you get stuck with playing the block and bank job, but I found this server that uh, was a Conquest large server, and it maintained a pretty good player base through pretty much a large portion of the maps, it went through like pretty much the whole rotation, and that was pretty fun to just be able to go back and play all these maps uh, that were pretty prominent in day one. I also streamed some Hardline yesterday. Um, if you want more Hardline streams, tell me down below in the comment section. Uh, if you want Battlefield 1 streams or any streams of any other game, tell me that down below in the comments as well. But uh, it's just really fun to stream Hardline because you get to look at that nostalgia. I was using the R0933 a bit. Um, also using the AKM because some of you guys requested that. It's just really fun to be able to go back and use those old weapons that I just, I can remember using them like nearly two years ago, uh, which is just crazy to think that that was two years ago. And that's pretty much when I started this channel. But uh, the MDC, I also remember uh, when the Robbery DLC came out, um, I made a video called Best Weapon in the Robbery DLC. I basically counted down every single gun in the DLC, sort of went through a list, uh, looking at their stats and stuff like that. And I honestly can't remember if the MDC or the F2000 was first. All I remember is that I had a really tough decision. And I wasn't sure which one I should make first, the MDC or the F2000. That was a pretty tough decision for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below for more Battlefield Hardline. I'm probably going to post some Battlefield 1 or stream Battlefield 1 later today uh, because I streamed Hardline yesterday. So don't forget to stay tuned for that on my channel. Subscribe if you are new here. But that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.